Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and this is the Mom Logs. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a what I eat in a day and I am on eye track bites and I do the better balance plan. Before the holidays, I was on maintenance mode, but after the holidays, I am back in weight loss mode. I, um, I'm not going to say that I was like slacking on my eating, but you know, there's indulgences that happen during the holidays that don't happen during like any other part of the year. So, um, I was pretty lax with myself and just showed myself some grace and, um, I, just enjoyed the holidays and um, now I am back at it in the new year today is January yesterday it's Tuesday today so yesterday was Monday it was like the first Monday of the new year so I know a lot of people got back at it yesterday um, before the holidays even started I stopped doing lift four and started like seriously slacking off on my um, working out I did get on the elliptical back there a few times um, but I just kind of like needed to take like a break from lifting I feel like I li have lifted like all of 2020 so I took a little break just did some light cardio and yesterday I got back at it with legs now I can't walk and today I did chest and triceps so it's going to be a struggle to even lift up the camera all day but um, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I am married and I have two little boys. They are two and almost five. Jack will be five next week and Ben will be three in March. So you might see them running around. I'm a stay at home mom and um, yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat today and a little bit throughout my day. I think I need to pop out to Costco today. Um, while my husband, who is working from home still, uh, while he is on his lunch break so that I can leave my younger son with him while my older son's at preschool. I think I will show you what I end up getting from Costco, so that should be fun, and yeah, come hang out with me today. Right now, I am having my post-workout protein shake, which is actually just like a half of a protein shake. I just do one scoop of the Orgain creamy chocolate fudge and about uh, like six ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And that is just the Aldi, like the Friendly Farms brand. So for Christmas this year, Rob got me a little cold brew system. Normally there's a filter that runs down the middle of this. So I have just like a little bit left of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. And if I need any more, I'll just make a little bit of hot coffee. So I have a cup of ice in here. I'm going to add, oh, that is just not very much coffee. All right, I'm just gonna add a little hot coffee. I'm gonna do 14 mils of this uh, Friendly Farms butter cookie creamer and then um, 16 ounces of the sugar-free French vanilla Friendly Farms creamer. So it will be a total of 30 mils of creamer. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my breakfast. Let me show you what I'm going to use to make it. So I'm gonna make like an open face egg sandwich. This is the bread that I'm going to use. Um, I have decimals turned on on my eye track bites, which is a nice feature because sometimes you get the math that just doesn't add up with um, like when you use like the when it when you let it round up on its own. My breakfast with my coffee, my um, protein shake and my breakfast is 10.9 bites. I'm gonna use the Morning Star veggie sausage. I've got the just egg because I can't eat regular egg, um, Taco Bell fire sauce, and a slice of the Velveeta original cheese.
All right, so here's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I am gonna do, a, I'm gonna make like a taco. I'm gonna use the Fit and Active low carb tortillas, just one. I have some 99 one um, lean ground turkey with just a little bit of taco seasoning. I have some of this Mexican style cheese. This is just a half an ounce. Um, I've got some chunky salsa, some Ortega mild taco sauce, and light sour cream. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all put together and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I just got back from Costco and I was just gonna go through what I got um, just real quick while I have it out and before I put it away. I've had these um, Celsius drinks one other time. I was just looking for an alternative to like, uh, like a caffeine loaded energy drink just for a little afternoon pick me up. So this came with orange, kiwi guava and wild berry and there are 15 in there. I got two five pound bags of just the Quaker old fashioned oats. These are the ones that I like to make oatmeal with. I've never had these before. They're protein bars, the Kirkland brand, which is cost, the Costco brand. I'm sure they taste proteiny, but I just really needed something like a quick snack when I have like a sweet craving, especially coming off the holiday season. So hopefully they'll taste okay. I've never had them before, but I'll eat them anyway. I'm not picky. These ha This pack of Ritz crackers has 18 of the fresh packs. They're like the sleeves. These are the crackers that my kids eat with like Colby Jack cheese cut up. Got an 18 box of Kraft mac and cheese for the kids. A two pack of Schwebel's white bread. These, I think, I think these are like larger than normal loaves. So their bread's always a good deal. A big bag of veggie straws. My kids like these, but I also like these if I'm craving like a salty afternoon snack. Jack really likes these. Let me see. They're organic, and the only ingredients are organic apples. They're crunchy. They're made with um, organic Fuji apples. These are for Jack for breakfast. They're the Cliff Kid Z Bars. Normally I will get these from Walmart, but I feel like they're a better deal at our Costco. I've got two things of the creamy chocolate fudge Orgain. Um, this is the vegan or the plant-based protein powder. That's the one that I always drink. And um, this is a 2.74 pound container of it. Um, when you order on their site, I think they offer, it's either a 2.03 or a 2.06 container of it. So a little bit smaller. Um, the Spice Islands taco seasoning, this one's really good. Large thing of the coffee that we always drink, this is the medium roast um, Folgers. These, these are the salmon burgers that we always have. Sometimes I'll put it over just lettuce, sometimes we'll have them on buns, and sometimes I'll put it on top of an Asian salad or a Caesar salad, it's really good. This tikka masala sauce, I think the brand is Mayura is how it's pronounced, but this one's really good and pretty bite friendly too. These are the breakfast sausages that I get and whenever I'm at Costco, I'll get a box of them because they're a better deal than if you buy them at Walmart or the grocery store. I got a big bag of Pirate's Booty, the yogurt that the kids eat for breakfast. And then I also got two big bags of chicken and then I got paper towel and TP as well, but those are already put away. I didn't think that anybody would wanna see my toilet paper, so I put it away. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff put away. And I have like an hour and a half before I have to go pick up my older son from preschool, so I think I'm gonna get my younger son a snack, and I'm also gonna have a snack. I'm feeling kind of hungry, especially after walking through Costco. You know, there's lots of temptations in there. I'm just finishing up um, putting this stuff away, and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna snack on, this isn't anything I bought today, but um, just some reduced fat Cheez-Its. So let me see, I tracked, where is it? Under my snack, I did 27 crackers, which is I think 30 grams for 3.8 bites. So that is what I'm gonna put in here. And just a little update, I have 5.8 remaining. 
um, for dinner. And then I'm also having one of the Celsius drinks, which is zero bites. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the whole serving, which is like that. And if I'm still hungry after that, I'll have an apple, which would be zero bites. It is time to make dinner. I'm having some lemon water right now. I never ended up having an apple earlier just because I felt like satiated after the um, crackers and my little soda. And um, I am gonna make dinner, so I'll turn you around and show you what I've got planned. All right, so I'm gonna make chicken stir fry and I'm gonna use this vegetable mix. It came with sauce pouches, but I'm not gonna use them. This is what's in the mix. It's got like mushrooms. I don't like these baby corns, so I usually give them to Rob. And then instead of rice, I'm gonna do cauliflower rice. You could do regular rice, or you could do a mix of both. That's always really good too, but I'm low on points, so I'm gonna do all cauliflower rice. And this green giant one, I just put it in the microwave. And then I pan saute this with the chicken. And then when everything is done cooking, I'm gonna add two tablespoons per serving of this very, very teriyaki sauce by Soy Ve. This is really, really good, but I put it on after, so none of it cooks off because it is like a little high in points. I think it was like five point something for two tablespoons. So this is dinner and I'm gonna whip this up. It's gonna be super quick and easy. down on the couch per use. He's getting a snack and I'm gonna get a snack. So I'm gonna do just my traditional popcorn. I have my kernel popper. This is like an air popper that you can put in your microwave. And I'm gonna fill it up to this bottom line here um, with these yellow popping kernels, popping corn kernels. And this comes out to be about three cups of popcorn, which I track as three bites on Better Balance. And then I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of this popcorn seasoning spray. I'm gonna do just a couple shakes of the movie theater butter salt and then um, some nacho cheddar popcorn seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that popped and then I will show you. Here's how my popcorn turned out in my famous red bowl. I started another batch of cold brew coffee. I leave it sitting on my counter for 24 hours, so it won't be ready tomorrow. I'll just have hot coffee tomorrow, but it will be ready on Thursday, so in a couple days. I made myself another ice water with lemon in it, and it's tasting so good. I think I'm like, I definitely wasn't drinking enough water last week, so I think I'm feeling like a little shriveled this week. So I'm just gonna keep drinking my water, go have my popcorn, and that I'm, I'm going to call it a day. I hope this video gave you some ideas for things to have for meals and snacks and stuff like that. Um, and I hope that everyone is falling back into their groove in the new year, now that the chaos and like, the hectic holiday season is over with. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you want to see more from me. I'll see you next time. Bye.